Pepper chicken is most common in South Africa, and I'm here to share the details on how it's made. Majority of the ingredients used are fresh ingredients, so the taste is very mild in combination with different spice flavors mixed together. For the chicken meat, I'm using leg quarters and I have four pieces. Wash it well, removing excess hairs, and pat dry. I'm making squares in each leg quarter so the spices will penetrate deep within. Then put a small amount of oil in each piece. Regular oil will do. Then add one tablespoon of curry powder, spreading it all over the meat. Then one tablespoon of thyme. One tablespoon of salt and rub it off. Do the same on the other side as well. Now this needs to be partially cooked in the oven for about 20 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius. The next is I need one medium-sized red onion and just cut it into quarters. Then I have to smash three cloves of garlic. Then I need two pieces of spicy bull hot peppers. I have one red and one yellow. This is to add spice to the sauce. With the amount of sauce I'll be having, this is good enough. You can barely even taste the spiciness in it. Then I'm just deseeding it and cutting it into smaller pieces. Then next is one green bell pepper and cut it into cubes. This is it and put all the ingredients into a blender. Then add one teaspoon of ground ginger. This is supposed to be fresh ginger but I'm out of stock today. Then one can of chopped or whole tomatoes then blend it together. Once it's forming a smooth paste, then it's ready. Next is we're going to make fresh tomato puree. I'm using three tomatoes. Make a thin slice across each other on the bottom part of each tomato, then blanch it. When the skin of the sliced area starts to peel off, then it's ready. Train it and start peeling. The seed the tomatoes. Add two tablespoons of water and blend it to form a smooth slurry. Then I need to finely chop one red onion and one white onion. Then one stalk of green onion, slice it thinly as well. This is it and the cooking begins. By the way, 20 minutes have gone and these are the chickens, partially cooked, but it will be fully cooked on the pot a little bit later. Prepare a pan or casserole, add a small amount of olive oil, then saute the chopped onions, all of it. Add one tablespoon of curry powder, one tablespoon of thyme, and mix it together. Once it's getting translucent, add the puree. Give it time to release its own flavor and you'll notice that the color will change into darker orange. You can also use store-bought tomato puree if you want less hassle but I always believe that fresh is the best if you have available. Then add a smooth paste inside. Stir it constantly in a medium-low heat. 
allow time for the flavors to be released and blend together for some minutes. Now if you taste the mixture at this point, there's a slight bitter taste that's being released. That simply means it's not cooked yet. Give some more minutes until it's gone. Then add 230 ml of water. This is for the four leg quarters I have. You can always adjust depending on the amount of meat you're cooking. Then I'm adding two beef broth cubes and let it dissolve. Then add one teaspoon of sugar into the sauce. Mix it and once it simmers, taste it. If you think it lacks salt, that's only fine because we're yet to put the chicken inside and we already put salt in the chicken earlier and we don't want it salty. We can always adjust the taste of the sauce once the chicken is already cooked. Then add the meat inside. Cover it with the sauce and let it simmer in a medium-low heat for about 8 to 15 minutes allowing it to be fully cooked. Now this time, let's check the meat. The bone is showing up now and it's a good indication that it's done and I don't need adjustment on the sauce. The mix of fresh flavors, the sweetness of the tomatoes and saltiness mixed together is just perfect. The taste is very mild. If you like spicy foods, you might add more of the spicy bull hot peppers in the mixture. But I can really smell the freshness of the mixed peppers and other spices. This is best paired with rice and garnish it with chopped scallions or leeks. Oh, 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 oh.